When I went to university, I um, took some further art classes and found it to be enjoyable. I called it my father because my father and I were so very close. He was always a good influence on me. I said, Dad, I, I, I want to be an artist. And he was silent on the phone and said, well, you're not getting any help from me, and he hung up. And it was so unlike him. He was, he was so open to the world of art. I thought he would be excited. So I waited and thought about it. I called him back. And I said, well, Dad, why, why did you act like that? That's not the way I was expecting you, you to act. And he said, well, son, any artist worth their salt would not care what their father has to say about it. They would just be an artist. They wouldn't call their dad up and say they want to be an artist. They just do it. They're completely irresponsible and disruptive. So I said, well, what am I supposed to do? He said, well, you like art, you like science. Architecture is a nice mix of those worlds. And, um, and besides, an architect would probably call his father up to see what he thought. And it kind of made sense to me. Um, I'm empathetic. Um, so uh, that, uh, that world seemed open to me. I had studied medicine before that, um, pre-med. I was in pre-med school. And so I've always had an interest in the body and the human form. And architecture is kind of an extension of uh, understanding medicine. I feel architecture is a kind of medicine. It's just a different type. We, if we make good places to live, we can be healthier. If we make unhealthy places, we will live in, in a problem world. So those things all mixed together brought me to architecture. And I, I went in a comp competition for the Alexandria Library in 1989 when I was 28 years old to do a 800,000 square foot building for $380 million. So I lost all my hair on that. And um, it's been interesting ever since.